my name is Chad Moore and I'm a Toyota product training expert. I'm going to talk to you today about the 2017 Prius Prime. So the 2017 Prius Prime is all new. It's based off of the redesigned Prius liftback that was designed about a year ago. And we have a whole new front end here. As you can see, we have uh, these quad LED projector headlamps as well as an acrylic grille overlay here. The acrylic grille overlay has a kind of a pattern design behind it to give it some depth. You also notice that uh, th this grille design kind of gives it a little bit more of an EV mode feel. Um, so you can see the whole new front end looks great, all LED lighting as I said. We have Toyota Safety Sense P standard on this vehicle. It uses a millimeter wave radar which is located behind the emblem here as well as uh, a camera that's located behind the uh, rear view mirror. What that does is gives you pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. That has forward collision warning and automatic braking. It also gives you a full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, which can operate actually do a complete stop. In addition to that, you also get automatic high beams that'll switch on and off at night and lane departure alert with steering assist. So if you veer out of your lane, it'll, uh, it'll give you an alert and kind of nudge it back in the lane to make sure that, uh, that you're not veering out of your lane. The Prius Prime now gets an EV mode range of up to 25 miles and it will uh, stay in all EV mode without a, the gasoline engine coming on up to 84 miles per hour. So a significant increase over the previous generation plug-in. And the way we uh, did that was a number of, of improvements, but the main improvement was our ability to use the dual motor generator drive system. And what that is, it encompasses both our motor generators to provide drive force with the addition of a one-way clutch. In the past, only one of the motor generators provide drive force. The other generator would uh, simply generate electricity for the battery and it could provide uh, electrical power for some auxiliary functions. With, the, with this new one-way clutch addition, as I said, that second motor generator is now able to provide drive force for a more enhanced EV acceleration, a smoother EV acceleration, and ultimately ability to stay in full EV mode all the way up to 84 miles per hour. The hybrid system net power here with the 1.8 liter Atkinson cycle engine, which is also in the Prius liftback, the hybrid system net power is 121 horsepower. This will also get outside of EV mode an HV, a hybrid vehicle MPG of uh, increased efficiency, especially over the previous generation plug-in, and, uh, and should be right in line with, with the Prius liftback, if not a little bit better. On the rear of the Prius Prime, we also have a uh, redesigned tail lights com compared to the Prius liftback, so the tail lights look much different. Uh, we also have a dual wave rear window glass. So you can see the design actually has um, a concave in the middle where it's a dual, we call that the dual wave design. It's a very unique look. Um, it adds some flavor to the car, but it also adds to the aerodynamics. The, the Prius Prime gets a coefficient of drag of 0.25, um, so it stays right there with, uh, with, with the Prius liftback as well. Our lift gate also has some carbon fiber exposed you can see it right here. The carbon fiber framing around the entire lift gate is, uh, is, a, is a new feature for the Prius Prime and it actually the first time we've ever included this level of, of carbon fiber in any of our Priuses. This makes the lift gate much easier to open and close. We have a second handle here compared to the lift back as well so much easier to open and close the lift gate using this, uh, this updated feature. Compared to the previous generation plug-in uh, much more cargo capacity the hybrid battery is actually located right under this deck here. So the deck is raised up a little bit compared to our liftback model. Um, but as I said, we actually moved um, the charging unit to under the rear seat to give us some enhanced cargo capacity. We have 19.1 cubic feet of cargo capacity back here as well. And if you need additional space, we have standard 60-40 split fold-down seats. We also have some major improvements on the interior of the vehicle, so let's go ahead and hop inside. Now the interior, one of the biggest things you'll see right here is this large 11.6 inch HD multimedia display. This is the largest display Toyota has ever made. It has a wide variety of uh, functions, uh, but you can see it's been seamlessly integrated into the Prius dash without, uh, without much uh, interruption. So we've uh, made the air vents a little vertical to kind of really give the vertical screen a good look. Uh, part of it is this, this screen has a lot of different functionality with swiping. So I can swipe up and down, I can use the menu system swiping up I can uh, if I want to look at maybe my energy and where my energy is going as a lot of our Prius drivers do you have a screen like this in addition to that I'll also always see the map on top of the screen on most functions so it allows me to do different things if I wanted to use audio I can go in the audio and uh, and really be able to change my radio station without missing a turn 
or without using my navigation on top. So that's one of the biggest benefits of this large screen is to be able to do two different things at once uh, without losing any functionality. As again, it also has a lot of different swipe features. Has pinch zoom. Pinch zoom in and out and I can swipe around the map as well. So another great feature about this screen and about uh, all of the Prius Primes is we have a charging schedule feature. The charging schedule feature allows me to take advantage of off-peak electrical times to charge my vehicle. So typically when you get home, uh, it's 6 or 7 o'clock at night, that's when electricity is the most expensive. That's not when you really would like to charge your, your vehicle. You really want to charge in the early morning or middle of the night. And you can do that here with a charging schedule. So I can go in here, I can add a, uh, a, a charging event. So what I'm going to do is say, hey, I'm going to leave tomorrow morning at uh, 7 a.m. And actually, that's the normal time I leave Monday through Friday. So I'll go ahead and save that in here and it will charge the vehicle uh, based on my departure time. It takes about five, five, a little bit less than five and a half hours to do a full charge using a standard household outlet. Um, and that's in, includes, that's with the cable that's included with the vehicle. So it'll start charging, you know, leading up to seven o'clock and give you a full charge ready to go. You can also use the climate prep feature here. What that'll do is it'll prepare the, the cabin for my comfort com uh, based on the last climate control setting that you have in the vehicle. I'll go ahead and save that. And you can see here, now I'm uh, set to charge up these. I can just plug it in as soon as I get home and it'll start charging, as I said, uh, in the early hours of the morning to make sure I'm ready to go at seven o'clock. Okay, up here we have our dual 4.2 inch multi-information displays. As you can see over here on the left side, we have our speedometer, our odometer, as well as our average MPG. Uh, we're in EV mode right now and you can see the battery capacity here. Uh, you see where the line is where the battery goes down to uh, to blue. That's for an EV mode range. When it gets down to blue, uh, it's automatically going to kick into hybrid vehicle mode, just like the normal Prius. On our right side, we have a series of different screens. Um, namely, this is uh, the energy consumption screen and where energy is going in the vehicle. I have the Eco Diary Drive Monitor, which, uh, which helps you determine uh, the electrical range you have left, whether it is... Um, the bottom one is actually if you're running the air conditioning, you'll have a little bit less EV mode range. The middle one is your EV mode range without the air conditioning on. And then the top one is actually similar to an MPG number, but for electrical power. So I'm getting 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. And remember this battery has a capacity of 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours. On a Prius Prime Premium and a Prius Prime Advanced, uh, you have a soft touch interior available in Moonstone and black. This is the black interior, you can see with the black console trim as well. And in the rear seat, this is a four passenger vehicle. We've prioritized comfort for the third and fourth passengers over adding a fifth seat. And what you see is we've added a center console with cup holders as well as storage and an armrest. And in the back, there's a bunch, there's a lot of room and it really makes for comfortable seating for the third and fourth passengers as well. The Prius Prime is available in three trim levels. The Prius Prime Plus is your, is your base level. That's going to start at 27,100. We move up to the Prius Prime Premium level. That's going to add in your 11.6 inch HD multimedia display, as well as Qi wireless charging and a few other features on the interior of the vehicle. That's going to be priced at 28,800. And then moving off to the top grade for those that want it all, it'll be 33,100. And that is actually for the Prius Prime Advanced. That will add in JBL 10 speaker audio system, as well as the Prius Prime apps and a number of other comfort, convenience, and technological features. All of the grades come standard with equipment. There is no options or packages. So pick the grade that is best for you and uh, all of the equipment will become standard. We have a $4,500 federal tax credit. In addition, there are some state and local tax credits as well that may vary by state. Thank you for taking the time with me to go through the all new 2017 Prius Prime. I hope you really like it. I know a lot of you will probably really like this large touchscreen display, but uh, I really hope you check out the car a little bit more. And before I go, I'll leave you with one last thing here as I turn off the vehicle. Thanks, bye-bye.